Hey, this is Joe from the Cell Phone Geek. Today I'm going to show you how you can screen capture your Android phone. So first off, you have to go and open up your web browser and go to uh, Google Search. Uh, either type in Google.com at the top, otherwise on Firefox here it goes to Fire, it goes to Google Search automatically. And you're going to type in SDK Manager, SDK Manager. You may already have this if you are an Android user. So program for your desktop computer. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the second one here. So you're here to see when it says Android SDK Android Developers. Click on that and it's gonna load the web page and then you're gonna download the software to your computer here. Here it is, download the SDK for Windows. Alright, and save file to download it. It is downloading. It's going to take a little bit to download. It's uh, 67 megabytes. Um, I don't have the fastest internet connection, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here, and I'll be back when it's done downloading. And then I'll show you what to do next. Alright, it's done downloading here, and I'm going to go ahead and double click on the installation here, hit run. Got to allow it here. That's just from my virus program. Alright, going to hit next. Next. I'm going to do install for anyone on this computer. change where it's going to go. You can just leave it as default. It's just going to go to see program files. Go ahead and install. Going to go ahead and install it. All right. It's completed. Hit next. Start leave that checked. So hit finish. <coughs> and the program will start running here. Here it is here. And then Install or it's going online here, finding all the updates here. This could take some time depending on your internet connection. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the under show. It says uh you have updates here. See here it says show, then you get updates slash new, and then another one says install. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the installed because then it's going to show which ones are not installed here. So the ones that we're, those are the ones that we're going to want to install once it's done loading here. All right. Shows all the ones that recommends installing that are not installed. I'm going to go ahead and hit install 7 packages. I know another window popped up here. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. Alright. You have to hit uh, accept all over here on the right. And then hit install. <coughs> and now it's downloading down here. It says downloading. It gives you the name of the file and it says about 13 minutes is left or to finish, now it's going up. Depends on the internet connection, it may be longer, maybe shorter. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until it's done doing the downloads here, or the updates, and then I'll show you what to do next. Once installed, as you can tell, it's still doing some updates here. Once it's done, the program will restart, and you'll be able to use the program with no problem. And then you'll have to go into the folder, I'll show you here real quick into the Android SDK folder and then go to tools and then it's going to be the DDMS you double click on that open the window your Android will show on there as long as you got plugged into your USB port on your computer and you'll be able to see anything on your screen on your Android on your computer screen on your computer alright hey so once you go ahead and click on that file 
the DDMS, you'll get two windows that pop up here. See if I can zoom out a little bit for you. Which is this window here, command box, and also this window here. So once you do that, then you go ahead and should be able to let's see. Double click on your phone. Alright, so once you select on your phone here, you click on device and hit screen capture. And it'll open up here and I'll show you a screenshot of your phone. And this is my phone. Uh, this is not uh, live video though, so like when I go here and click on the weather, this is 81 degrees, I hit that. On my phone it's changed, on here it has not, so you have to hit this refresh button. And once you hit the refresh button, see, then it pulls it up. So that sort of thing. So if you hit the home button, it'll go back to home. You just have to keep hitting the refresh button. But this is one way we can screen capture your screen, and it's still as a video if you do a if you're screen capturing your computer desktop like I am here otherwise you can just do it as still pictures because you can hit save and you can save the image of your screen as a picture and you can upload it to Facebook or whatever you'd like to YouTube and you can even do a picture slideshow that way so that's how you screen capture your Android phone or device it doesn't have to be an Android phone it can be your Android tablet alright thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe thumbs up have a great day